identity on the back. Phantom Assassin. Are they gonna have the Phantom Assassin first? To be the hard carry. The hero just got nerfed too. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Here come the last ban. I kind of like that respect ban from Team GG Bar. I could ban that Bat Rider because uh, they have a fair. Uh, Sam Edge is a very good Bat Rider player. Sam Edge, KYXY, and also Ohio. These three players are the good Bat Rider player in Southeast Asia. Spent quite a lot of time to ban the last one. PT Barracks still need if uh, a hard carry that can deal with the Phantom Sassine, Terror Blade, or even the Phantom Lancer. It's not a bad choice, too. Or they could just use a bounty hunter as a core hero and Dire team use Tiny as a carry. Viper has been banned. Viper got nerfed in the first skill. Yeah, it's not stacking anymore and, and you have to add more level than one for the first skill to be effective in team fight. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. And expect to ban out. Spectre is good against the Phantom Radiant Assassin as well. Has Razor, Razor here. Color balance. Hero pick for Team Yoshimoto Detonator. I like this one a lot. Razor, good from early game until mid game. Puck, good early game to mid game too. Nixasin, good all the game uh, because he provides you a vision. And Phantom Assassin for the late game. Five seconds remaining. Last one for Team PG Barks. They can't go for the Life Stealer anymore. The Detonator already got a Razor. And here comes the Rubik for Team PG Barks. Big as a post four, and all heroes are ready. Well, that is it for the first game draft. Team PG Barracks with the um, with the Rubik and Oracle as their supporters. Um, I say I, I would say that it's going to be a balanced gameplay for Team PG Barracks. Not gonna rush in the early game. Meanwhile, Team uh, Detonator having the Phantom Assassin and Razor. Having a Razor means you will be very strong in mid-game from minute 15 until like thir uh, 30 minutes. 
And I kind of like the detonator heroes more because they, if you take a look at their hero park, uh, Phantom Assassin, Razor, you see that they are strong in every phase of the game. Plus, they have Nyx Assassin who can, who just uh, scout around, giving them some visions. So, but. Well, that is just speculation. It's, uh, mm, I think the most important thing is their execution. Let's see who's gonna do better in a real game because the game is about to start. Let's go in, man. All right, they are all getting ready for the match. <laughs> All of you guys requesting to show cat. <laughs> Where's cat, buddy? How how's the cat doing? Prepare I think they're doing fine. I, I saw them walk here and there. Well, uh, I I want you be before we end this tournament tomorrow. I'll let you guys guess how many cats we have in this studio. <laughs> you only see, you only get to see one cat, the big one. His name is Carrot, actually. Okay, let me adjust my bean bag. We are all in the game, ladies and gentlemen. And it seems like the, the action start quite far right here. Fortune Sand Tower shooting on Yoshimo to detonate, and that's going to be first blood for Team Barracks. Luckily, we didn't miss the first boss just now. What actually happened? The diving in a little bit too deep Not for Team Detonator. To trying to just scared him a uh, Barak away, but Barak was so well prepared. Very nice start by Team PG Barak. Let's see how many body rune they're gonna get. Should be two body rune for two teams, or maybe round two just gonna start right here. Ninja Saint missed all the impale. He's just impale in the middle of the two heroes. And that's he's gonna get punished one more time. PG Barak strikes him one more time on RR. Oh, RR. <laughs> what a nice dodge on the impale by Team PG Barak's player. Tiny and also Rubik. I saw playing Rubik mid against Razor. <laughs> Crazy strat from Team Peach Barracks. Space Man of Supports. <laughs> Not for you. Bounty Hunter Godlike DB playing a post for Bounty. Uh, I, I mean, the most important thing of playing a body hunter is you need to get your level fast. Just have to get six as soon as possible because the track is very good in in team fight mid game. For Jun Sen, purifying flames. Top lane is trip with the <laughs> Ember Speed Searing Chain on the right team potato. Nice dispel by the Chen using the Divine Favor. Back to the bottom lane, a hard fought happenings again, and the, it's the same target. Ah uh ah. -uh. It's a target for Team Barrax. Yeah, he just adds Spike for a pace. But I can this is back into the Fortune Zen. Let's see. This is the first attempt to kill that Razor. Razor pop the fairy fine, walk away back to the tower. He's fine. That was a good <laughs> What? Diving a little bit too deep and die over there. For Tiny. 
uh, may I don't think he he was diving. He just wanted to go back home in the coolest way. It threat drink a hot. God like DB. You have been denied. Got like DB. It's now level three. As I mentioned earlier, that uh, if you're having a party hunter in your team, uh, you need to focus on his level. You need to make sure that your BH are not under level and get as uh, get the get to six level as much as possible. On top lane, the side lane, Ember Spirit. Haven't seen this hero on the side lane for a while. Now he's just gonna go for the right ban next item for the Ember Spirit Ifrit. Good job. Good last hit for the Ember Spirit, but still far away from Puck, which already had 24 last hit on the way to a power trade and also the crown. Flame Guard for the first time trying to harass him on the Phantom Sassin, force him to walk back away from the creep wave. However, PA seems to have more last hit than the Ember Spirit now oh aiming for the Spaceman, Searing Chains on too. Nice save by Ifrit. A sore. Wow, the hunter. The next thing I know is uh, Sam Edge. The get very that happy, but at least got like DB still uh, delete RR from the game. Sam Edge with a great last hit. He got a lot of items right now, plus a bottle. Avalon comes out on Sam Edge, but he's quite tanky. So it seems to be a three-body rune for the Radiant side. Ifrit picking up on top too. The lane's still pretty okay for the Rubik against the Razor. Fade ball level 3, 1 telekinesis. Arcane supremacy. Side off with the telekinesis and then follow up with the fortune send. They still have the uh, Purifying Flame to finish him. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Purifying Flame is one of the best skills to use to KS in the early game. And when you play as an Oracle, you have to, to do KS. You have to KS. Because you need items too. Goes in. Maybe another Purifying Flame. No need. Asur finish him off with a Fade Bolt. Barak's having a great lane all over the place. Back to the bomb lane, dropping quite low for the tiny, trying to walk away from that puck. Got like on top. Strike on him. Straight to the body hunter. It is three off. Just gonna hit him. Body hunter still hanging around. Leading on the network right now is Puck. Sam Ed Yoshimoto, Dead Tornado. With the um, power trade on the way to the magic one, I believe that his first item should be a new scepter. You need to be careful once Sam Ed hits his six. Somebody gonna die here. <laughs> Including him. <laughs> now taking down the tower. Very nice by Chen. Grabbing this Hellbass Smasher. Along with some other creeps. 
Taking down the tower real quick. RR tanking the damage. Now here we go, dropping a dream coin for the first time along with the illusory orbs inside. Only half HP for Godlight. They now stick it to the tower. They have to take down the tower for first to decrease the damage. Now start to strike on that Spaceman. Godlight DB get rid of five solo. They're all aiming for the Oracle. Spaceman hanging around and they're kiting him like a kite. Avalanche in the toss comes out, he's trying to deal as much damage as he can before he goes out. He himself also stuck in the trap and that's a double kill for that bounty hunter. Go straight for more, already put the trap on, RR, where are you gonna go? Keep on running away, but he's still getting body blocked by the bounty hunter. Another goal still, and he also goes down, that's a lot of gold produced by Team PG Pyrex. He had, oh no, Spaceman. Fortune sent him himself trying to get into the tree line, waiting for support, but that's no support. Waiting for the support here, it's just like waiting for a ship at the airport. Nothing gonna come. And now he's dead. <laughs> it's locking. Wow, that's a lot of gold for Team Barak. Almost 10 minutes past, the game's still looking pretty even between two teams. The red team potato with the power train and also the right band. On the way to the Bow Fury. Happy being fired by the whole crew of Team Death Tornado, but however, it might be a plan of Happy waiting for his teammates. No, that's a bad plan actually. <laughs> Uh, no, but they are dropping quite low. Ooh, one hit, he will get the kill. No, dropping down. Savage coming in and save his teammate right there. And he himself got tracked too. He might get away from the hard situation by using Elusive Orb. Shiguchi. Somebody stuck in there is Rating Potato. I'm not sure. The next thing I know is Rating Potato is in the middle of Team PG Barak. It I think it should be a miscommunication. First hand kills go to Team PG Barrax. Next one goes straight. And now the fade board to finish him off. PG Barrax is doing so well in the first 10 minutes of the game. 1.3k gold earned by PG Barrax just now. 729 gold for the Bounty Hunter. That was great. I've been running away from that Ben Hur level 8. Ben Hur needs to involve more in a team fight because he's got a. He's a high level racer. He could save anyone with. Uh, okay. I was about to say he could save anyone with the plasma field, like scare them away. And then I see his zero plasma field added. But never mind. The chain is still wide open, as you can see from the graph, and the network is not that far away. And plus, the experience earned is dropping down to Team Detonator. That might explain that detonate that's the reason why detonator is always getting outnumbered because they always split farm meanwhile pg barracks always grouping up as a team that 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 might be the reason why they win the team fight because they got more peeps teleport down now here comes the track but you can't keep losing to the track kills in team fight like that jumping in fire rem 19 but he missed the searing chain so he kind of stopped anyone Got like DB. This guy made me want to go back home right now and start playing spamming the Bounty Hunter. I played a lot of Bounty Hunter if you check my stats. Oh wait. This hero is kind of fun to play. The hardest thing of playing the Bounty Hunter is to deal the most damage in team fight because if you want to do if in team fight all the de the only damage dealing skill you can you have is the uh, shuriken. But to use the shuriken, you have to get in a very close range unless you have like the uh, ether ladies or something. But no, this body hunter is gonna turn himself into the uh, damage dealer. He already got a drum. He already got the infused random on the way to the Sanjin Yacha. Interesting. Now man fight between the two. Who gotta die first? Nice save. With the uh, fall promise, and uh, they get rid of the Sam Edge plus the Trackle. Two hundred gold for the bounty hunter. Look at that. 
Getting closer and closer to the center Yasha. Now he might get caught. Start tracking on that Benha. Benha Yoshimoto walking away. Shadow walk already for the bounty hunter. He gives a lot of vision to his teammate. This is, for example, this. Let me adjust this Dyer's one. Bit. Okay. Jesse on the Chen. Surely going to be the next prey of the bounty hunter. Chen is out of the equation. Next one will be Benha. 4k ahead from two bounty kills. There's a lot of gold earned. What about Phantom Sassine? Phantom Sassine now is at the second place in terms of the network. You can count on this guy rating potato when it comes to farming. But farming is not the only skill that helps you win the game. Sometimes you might have to try the team fight too at the right time. He's getting ready. I, I believe that he will be soon become the big factor in this game. Barianda. Ah, uh, uh, Yoshimori with the dust, getting ready for the bounty. Not that far away, Phantom Sassine. Farming in NC on the way to a Valkyrie. Double damage. If you play the uh, Phantom Sassine and just go, uh, go for one raid band, go straight to the Valkyrie, that means you want to farm. You are getting ready for the long game. If you want to go for the early game team fight, you could just go for a drum and then just get sent in Yasha. Obviously, Detonator need to avoid the team fight, but it might be hard because Bounty Hunter is hunting them all the time. Dyer's top tower is under attack. See Templar Assassin. Oh, pop the dust. Dropping a dream for the Bounty Hunter, not looking good. That might be a mere Q3 end. Yeah, it is. Red Team for Taylor got 443 gold from that kill. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It's just a matter of time for him to get Dyer's caught. That tornado was so well prepared for the body hunter with the uh, with a lot of dust and sentry. Seems like PG Barak is not rushing that game anymore. They just want to go back and, and try to uh, farm up until their hero get their favorite playtime until their hero's got some skills enough. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Avalon has caught and get rid of Fly Solo. Model detonator. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ah, here we go. Searing chance all the crap goes on this guy. Fortune Chen as well. Go straight for the Benha. But no, <laughs> you can't leave your supporter like that. I mean, you can fire Remnant away anytime with your supporter if you go in. He can just only walk back. I can feel him. Spaceman will go down. For sure. I mean, you can call it off if you don't want to. If you don't feel like it. <laughs> but your supporter is there and he just have to walk back. <laughs> Easy kill by Team Detonator. They need to keep this kind of thing coming bit by bit. Illusory Orb. Gonna hit that Yoshimoto Detonator. Impale hit three. A 
It'd be a heal first, jumping in with Avalanche and the toss and all are healed. Sorry, it comes out. Nice save by the Chen. But his teammate is still in a bad spot. Sam Edge got rid by Spaceman with the um, purifying flame. Spaceman still searching. Teleport down for the race of Plasma Field to start the fight off. Hits that Spaceman. He uses second skills on himself and also the Fortune Sand on the Benher. Now he's chasing for more rating potato. Obviously he's not ready to fight yet. He only got a Bell Fury. Plasma Field copy Pesarino but a Rubik and here comes the Fade Bolt. Oh man, it's just it's too much. And every single kill is a track kill. Imagine how much gold they get from that. 739 gold. Godlike DB. Godlike DB. Nice dodge on the impel. Avalanche starts inside. The back line getting attacked. Plasma field for the Rubik and also Telekinesis. What a play by this guy. A sword. Dealing damage and the assist at the same time for a sword. Man, his Rubik mid is no joke. First one who invented this hero mid is Dendi in the TI3. And now it's become a thing. Oh, it's six years ago. It's quite long. Now Dendi is here in the um, Spring, Spring Cup Southeast Asia Tournament too. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Be free. Latching off the tower. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I missed the kills over there. Ratings potatoes still getting tracked on. Jumping away. No way, 10k ahead already. PG Barracks are so strong in the first game of the series, but at least Benher at the bottom lane, they know that uh, three heroes of Team PG Barracks on top, they're counting. And they decided to go in at the bottom lane to get rid of the, um, the support oracles. Turn three to eight. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Silence! Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Well, if, if you want me if you want the reason why Dyer's Team Detonator game is so hard at the moment, I think it's because of Bounty Hunter. They can't stop Bounty Hunter from, you know, I, I kind of like the, the plan of Team Barracks that the, uh, even though Tiny is a hard carry, but there was some point that they moved Tiny away and farming in NC and giving a Bounty Hunter the maximum level so he get his 6 fast. And then after he get his 6 fast, such a hard game for Team Detonator. Every single team fight they attend, even though like they kill 3 and Team PG Barracks kill 3, but PG Barracks got much more gold than Team Detonator because of the track kill. Going in again, on the way to the Black King bar for the Bounty Hunter. Yu Septon himself, his teammates ready to jump in. They all aim on the um, ball. Promise comes in with the fire remnants inside. A lot of damage has been produced by Benher. He get rid of the space man first. Nine kill on the support. Benher now dropping down to only half HP. It seems like Barak doesn't have enough damage to finish off Benher right now. Fire remnant once again. The finishing off with the plasma field. However, the mid lane of Team PG Barak falls out too. Sam H. Yoshimoto, Illusory off down. Now fighting on that godlike DB, Ifrit coming back once again. 
Yeah, he, he might go back to the base and come back, uh, regen, and fire in Mac back to the scene. Make a kill for Godlike DB. That is his board. Bounty Hunter, this is the power of BH. Twenty-eight to ten. I'm gonna show you guys the fight recap. You see, oh my God, almost three k gold earned on the PG Barak side with only two hundred gold for Team Detonator. What a great fight for Team PG Barak! And look at that, both the graph going up high to the sky. Oh, like Plasma field and attack A night attack track kill And now here we go for another fight Aiming for the mid tier to tower, Team PG Barracks getting Dying closer and closer to the target. Once they get all the tower out, they should fall back and get the ages before they try to go on the high ground. Because it's still quite risky to go on the high ground against Razor. With the Eye of the Storm and also the uh, Puck, they can clear the creep wave very fast. At least they can kill Puck first. Getting stunned up by the centaur, and now that's where he lay. Seven kills straight, end for the bounty hunter. A bit too cocky. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. PG Barracks only lost one power so far. And that's why the, their play area is much bigger than Team Detonator. Speed with the Black King Bar, Meltstrom, and also the Wheel of this cause getting ready to fight on top. Azor is here, Aghanim Scepter, Youth Radiant Scepter, and Star also Hand of Midas getting ready for it, jumping in, trying to open the visions for his teammate for the Tiny. Fire Remnant down, see how easy they can kill that fly solo. See how he to stop them, Youth Scepter. Track on the Razor. They only need a few seconds to deal almost like 70% damage on that Razor. Dropping down low, Razor walk back to the high ground, turn the Black King bar straight inside for that Godlike DB. He can go for more, man fight against that pump and also the tier 4 tower. He coming back and maybe just give me a little bit of this. Fall Promise is gonna save him, turn the Black King bar, but Raging Potato cannot find any single target, you Scepter. Hiding him out, but at least they get something out of this team fight. Still on the BKB status for the uh, Phantom Zazine. Was stopped by the Fortune Zen. Was slashed by Ifrit the Ember Sprint. Was stunned by the Avalanche Sword. And here we go. One hit away. Ifrit with a wicked sick. The first time team white in this game. Detonator. Looking pretty bad in the first game of the series. With 20k ahead in fear of Team Barracks. Here comes the top tier 3 tower. Let's take a look at the map control. This is a map vision of Team PG Barrax. As you can see, they only lost one tower, so... 
The map control is more than 50% of the map. Meanwhile, this is Yoshimoto detonated. They can't see anything. Now they got caught once again. Walked into the sentry area. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Bottom lane. Bounty hunter. Found his target, which is that pup. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom shrine is under attack. Oh man, being cancelled just the last second. My goodness. You can't run away from the track kill. Dyer's bottom shrine has fallen. Dropping a dream coin, trying to do every single way just to stay alive. But he's still being hunted on. Oh! Where there is a will, there is a way! But he lost the sight of the track. This might be good for the puck. Oh, Sam Edge. Still on cooldown for the teleport. Now back to here. I'm so sorry. I, I will focus on Sam Edge. Surviving skills. Until the core heroes of Team PG Barracks got caught by Team Detonator. The down for two and Detonator is going to grab this opportunity to go into the Roshan pit. That's a good idea actually. Catching the Body Hunter. Body Hunter with the butterfly. 2.3k HP on the Body Hunter. Now here you go, dropping a Dream Coil on that Oracle and Body Hunter too. They get rid of the uh, Oracle real fast and hey, what is going on here? PG Barracks, I thought they had this game so easy and now they start to die one by one. 36 kills and 16, let's take a look at the grab. Surely dropping down to Team Detonator, they still got chance. Go straight into the Roshan pit and this is what are they waiting for? PG Barracks. Started to throw the game like a paper plane. Hopefully they can just, you know, pick themselves up from the uh, series of mistakes that they made just now. And come back stronger. They got everything in their hands. Ember Spirit, Mjolnir, Black King Bar and Power Traits on the way to the Chiva Scott. Such a hard game between these two teams. Tiny. Dyer are scanning. Desolator. Power trade, Black King Bar, and also the Bow Fury. Just imagine if PG Barracks lose this game from like 21k ahead uh, lead. Definitely gonna affect the second game of the series. They're gonna lose a lot of moral. What a big comeback for the Detonator. Playing with patience. And now their hard carry Phantom Sassin is getting stronger and stronger. 
waiting for himself to get his uh, 25. So he could go for, I, I believe that he would go for Trip and Strike, Sipping Dagger. Team Smoke. Fly solo. Getting ready to go on the high ground. Phantom Sassine only need around 3 seconds to finish off the Ember Spirit. Oh man, he popped the dust too slow for RR. He could have killed that tiny. Hunter. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified. Radiance Top Tower is under attack. Radiance Top Tower is fallen. What do you think it's gonna be for the last talents of the Bounty Hunter? Should it be like... I don't think the goal is matter anymore. It should be evasion. If he add evasion... Radiant's no Monkey King bar for the East guy. Yeah. I think it should be quite easy for him to, to win the, the man fight between... The core heroes of Team Detonator. the armor for that razor. This is the item update. Radiance top tower is under attack. This might be a long game. I mean un until somebody made a big mistake and die for all. Let Phantom the scene getting close to Max's levels. Radiance top tower is under attack. This is the buyback stage. Strike on him, Phantom Zane. Getting avalanche and the thought. It was a trap set by Team PG Byrax. He's about to go down for Phantom Zane. Can they finish him off? Yes, they can for one time. And here comes another. Round two comes out. Aiming where's Phantom Zane? Dropping quite low for the Bounty Hunter. He needs to walk back and crawl back to the base with the BKB turned on. They're still trying to chase around. Dropping a Dream Coin on the support won't be that much effective. I think Park need to fall back. Avalanche on the toss. Score straight for that Park. Now they lost Park. One core hero down. It might be the chance for Team PG Byrax to go forward. Keep on chasing. Jump in front. Use Scepter to stop and wait for the supporter. Another kill. No buyback. Straight to the bo top Byrax. This might be the first set of racks for Team PG Byrax after they were trying for so long. Damage. But the creep wave is still pushing on Team PG Barracks, so it would take a while. Mm. I think they have to wait for the next Roshan to be respawned. It's Phantom Sassane. Level 25, and he yes, he went for triple strike diffling, stifling that dagger. Oh my god, that critical 2k. Damage critical. The damage. See how they're gonna start the team fight. Grab.
grab some tree. Now find comes the scene. On the way, on the way to the Monkey King bar. Getting ready for the Bounty Hunter. In case Bounty Hunter went for the 50% evasion. The fact that the uh, Phantom of the Scene have shown his javelin, so I think Bounty Hunter might change his mind. I freeze finish one off right here, the core hero one down. Detonator need to fall back, they are down to only four without a puck. I don't think they could do much with this. And they chase on the uh, Phantom of the Scene. Nice all, get away. I oh, just look look at the tree tree throw icon. I don't think that is a tree that they throw. I think it really looks like I don't know man, something that makes us happy. We should call it a happy throw. Go in, avalanche toss, hit two times, do a happy throw. That might be enough to finish one off. Bounty Hunter. He surely go for the goal. The fact that he saw the javelin on the Phantom's assassin. No point to go for evasion anymore. But he still want to go for evasion. Only three players got a buyback right now in the game. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower has fallen. Going to strike Radiance real quick. Got light DB. Track first on fly solo, dropping a dream coin on two. That was a copy paste Serena dream coin. They're trying to get rid of Chen before he used the holy god, and now he used it the holy hand of God. Now they lost. Got light DB too. Four v four. But it was a good trade for Team Detonator. Sam has finished off that Azul. Where is my Phantom Scene? He deals a lot of damage with the critical damage here. See how easy it can get rid of the PG Barracks. And they all fall down with PG Barracks. Detonator have waiting for this time for 20, 30 minutes. And now that's the first team wide that Detonator got. Radiance top tower. Under attack. Straight to the tower. We do go up for the high ground, I think so. Very nice play. I think the uh, you only have one job in this game for Spaceman now. Just to use the uh, face eating on the uh, Phantom Sassine to stop him from attacking anyone. Can't stop, can't stop Phantom Sassine anymore. 1.6k damage for critical. Plus triple stifling dagger. Double damage. Radiance middle tower is under attack. I need to have to go in. This fight is very important, especially for PT Barracks because they're running out of the buyback. Turn on the Black King bar, all of them for Detonator. Yoshimoto, Detonator is on the weakest sick. It seems like everyone of Team PT Barracks is focusing on PA, but they kind of forget that Bender also got a lot of damage too. He went for plus 200 unstable current damage. Too much. 
Imagine you have either Storm and Agony Scepter with the unstable current. You're on the Black King bar. No way you can stand the damage of that one. GG has been called from Team TG Barrax. What a patience by Team Detonator. They hold on to the game even though it was a disaster early game for Team Detonator. But however, they're coming back in this game as a victorious in the first game of the series. Man, can you hear the electric? Woo! First game of the series, man. 42 minutes in. 40 and 25. That was a great game with a lot of action packed, to be honest. It was the, um, like I said, it was a great patience from Team uh, Yoshimoto Detonator. If you, uh, if you want me to pick one MVP player, I think it must be Ben Hur because he, it was him, uh, Ben Hur on Razor all along, which is, you know, being a backbone of Team Detonator since like minutes 10. Once he got some items, he destroyed every single team fight. Uh, he got he 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 was late in terms of the levels, and after minute fifteen, he always there in a team fight and dealing damage with the uh, plasma fields and stuff, giving some time for his hard carry, the uh, phantom assassin to farm up the items. I kind of say you know, mm, I kind of feel bad for Team Barracks too because the uh, the Rubik mid are so playing so good in this game. He was everything in the team fight. He's stealing spells. He he stopped enemy with telekinesis and and he also just steals damage with the uh, fate ball. But that's it. That's a game. That's why we we say that Dota is the kind of game that we anything could happen. But that was just the first game of the series. We still have. Hopefully, we're gonna have two games more between this match and. For now, we're just going to go back to the break, and we'll be right back for game number two.